Hello everyone, welcome to IEXAM B. Today I have Mr. Mikhail Hassan. He has cleared IBPS Specialist Officer, Marketing Officer and he is going to join Punjab National Bank. Congratulations and thank you for coming to IEXAM B. So Mikhail is going to discuss about his strategy and how he prepared. He is an MBA. He is BSc Science with Mathematics Honours. And he has worked in marketing before he started preparing for this exam. Over to you, Mikhail, if you can discuss how you thought about this preparation, how you prepared for subject like quant, reasoning, English, which you may not be aware, and also about the marketing subject. Yes, sir. thank you so much, sir. Hello, everyone. Uh, I, first of all, sir, I would like to give a small brief about uh, my journey. I started uh, preparing in the uh, last year only means uh, the full preparation I started last year from the month of September after I left my job from Axis Bank in the month of August. Before that, sir, uh, why did I leave the job? I uh, did not continue the preparation side by side along my job because my job demanded a very uh, good amount of time of my day. And even at night, sometimes I used to uh, work from uh, my home, like sending reports over WhatsApp and things like that. So somehow I was realizing that I'm missing that time mm -hmm. of uh, preparation. This uh, realization ca came when in 2018, I just wanted to see whether I can clear any government exams or not. And since I was in private uh, bank already, so I thought why not to serve in a public sector bank mm -hmm. since the benefits are also good. Plus it would give a sense of satisfaction as well. So I started, I gave my prelims in 2018. I cleared that. However, I could not clear the mains. So that time I decided that I would uh, leave my job and started pre and start preparing for this exam. So I started digging into various uh, websites and uh, online uh, portals to understand the pattern of the exam, first of all. So I realized that I was always scared of uh, general awareness in a way. So yes. when I saw the uh, syllabus of marketing office, I was quite happy that general awareness is not there. But as I moved forward, I realized if I'm not uh, suppose I did not clear that exam, so where would I go? Because in every other exam, general awareness is there. For example, in RBI grade B, we have got a, a general awareness as well of 80 questions. So side by side, I started uh, general awareness preparation as well. For quants, basically, even though I was a maths honors, but the pattern of uh, the banking exam was completely different. So only the basics were was okay with me. For example, the uh, calculation part, and uh, the um, uh, speed that was quite okay with me however when it comes when the time was ticking and uh, if we have to do in a controlled environment then the scenario totally changes and i realized that quant became my weakest uh, point and uh, english as far as english was concerned it was quite okay because I, i'm into reading books and online also so english was quite okay for me and for reasoning also i realized that we need a lot of practice Although means it is a general topic, uh, any, anybody with a proper understanding or proper comprehension ability, ability uh, he can clear it. But still the speed will be required in order to clear any exam. So I started uh, practicing more and more. For, for quants also, uh, I started uh, mainly with the topics like uh, which are very important for the pre preliminary examination, like uh, uh, the number series, then the equations, then uh, uh, C-logs in reasonings and all the other uh, topics. Sir. So mainly the major uh, strategy was to continue with more and more practice and devoting most of the time of, of my day in practicing only uh, like small quizzes from various other websites and uh, online lectures as well. For example, if I'm not clear about any concept, in, for, I would like to give the example of uh, the equation part. In my first attempt, I did not realize that there are some tricks also available for that uh, solving equations. But as I proceeded further and I, I started giving more and more time, I realized that there are many uh, tricks available in which if we look at the equation also, we can solve by uh, looking at the signs. So it became very uh, handy for me. And ultimately, uh, I started increasing the speed in my quant subjects. So that is very interesting sir, that you prepared all this sitting at home. Yes, and, and you you are from a very beautiful place actually so in Silong, which is a beautiful yes. place. So I am happy yes. to see that people from all part of the country are able to make career using the online yes. education. 
coming to this part uh, about the quant you said an interesting topic you being a maths student but still realize there are shortcuts so how much importance yes, you give to the shortcuts or the equations to solve uh, different questions and also the fundamentals so i think in preliminary we need only the uh, basics means only if you could score about 15 to 20 and uh, it's about means you know, i'm talking about me because my english was quite strong so i could score always above 20 in english so that was not a problem for me if i would score within 15 in quants also so for me it was like uh, i would uh, yeah, i i mean in the beginning i could score around 10 to 12 only but that was not uh, surfacing my requirement uh, so i started giving more and more time in quants uh, by regular practice and realized that few shortcuts are very important like in equations if you are doing without shortcuts it's taking most of our time in quants so it uh, the most important will be the shortcuts in equations uh, for other uh, papers like di is there we need to have the shortcuts of percentage plus if we practice more and more we will realize that there are many shortcuts of percentages for example 1 by 3 is 33.331 by 3% like that and 3 by 4 is 75% means if we practice more that will be inculcated in our mind yeah. and uh, then it will not be uh, any time taking because the di uh, in the prelim section is very easy mm. and we can easily score however if we go to the mains part i have given the mains of uh, lic assistant examination and i i mean the am panelist also currently i realize that the shortcuts will not help that much because the time will be more but if we know only the shortcuts it's not going to help for other things like di is there so we have to understand the overall topic as well in uh, number series tricks are not there we have to realize that if we practice more and more we tend to uh, see the means what pattern is there in the number series and we'll be able to solve because in the beginning i was not being able to solve even the easier number series sir no this practice thing is very very important because as you said no so automatically yes, when we practice our mind gets trained that we see yes. this is the kind of uh, trend which is coming here in reasoning yes, uh, i want to especially learn from you about how to solve puzzles or maybe you also followed a strategy giving more time to other sections whether it is input output or inequalities because reasoning yes, is one low hanging fruit if good time is spent on preparation very true sir very true actually in the beginning in reasoning also i was uh, spend, i was scoring only 15 sir mm-hmm. with my speed but towards the end when i was appearing about to appear the lic exam and this uh, prelims of uh, ibps so i could score more than uh, 25 you can say why because i i started giving plethora of time in reasoning because i realized that this is nothing to uh, means we don't have to memorize anything just that we have to increase our speed because we know the facts we know the if somebody is sitting left of uh, a or b we know how how it is done only we have to train our mind how we can means uh, realize the question very fast and solve it uh, say within uh, Three to four minutes maximum. To be frank, I did not touch puzzles in the beginning before appearing the examination. Obviously, before the exam, uh, I could score good in syllabus, and then uh, the uh, input output questions. As you said, I never touched that because there are very so many variations in that. I cannot. I I went for the easier questions which I could do fast. For example, uh, the, the alpha numeric series were very easy for me. I could do that in seconds. then uh, the numerical uh, questions like uh, may, uh, a pattern is given in num- numericals like alpha numeric only so we can solve that as well when coming to uh, puzzles sir for puzzles what did i do first i understood how how much time it is taking without uh, the timer so without timer i could solve one easy puzzle of sitting arrangement in 10 minutes in the beginning but as i started uh, uh, means i i was doing uh, almost around 5 to 6 puzzles in a day in the beginning so it really boost my um, uh, speed and i could uh, gradually understand that if it is written that uh, one is sitting, if there are eight students and one is sitting three uh, uh, third of right or left then it means that person is sitting opposite to that person with that also it will come by practice only that you will start realizing what does that mean without counting it so if they are facing each other then obviously we have to uh, give that opposite opposite sign in that in reasoning i feel if we can uh, concentrate in the beginning nicely then obviously we will have that five marks of uh, puzzle of uh, say three puzzles we can easily score 15 marks yes correct 
now I want to know more about the marketing, marketing preparation because that is important for clearing this exam as an specialist officer. You have done MBA. Yes, so whether yes, that preparation was good enough or from that content what you already may have, how did yes, you prepare? How did you? Yes, sir. This is actually a very interesting topic for me. I'm all I have always been interested in this. Uh, in the year 2018, when I first gave the uh, exam, I was very overconfident that I would I have to just clear the prelims yeah. and the theory part will be just done because I have I have done very well in my MBA also. Mm. So it it was a big deal for me. Without with my work, I could do it. But as I proceeded, I realized that uh, it is not uh, uh, an easy task at all. We have to give our time. Uh, and through the books only we can give no other uh, things uh, will be helpful except the various videos which are available online as well but that will be in addition to the book book knowledge uh, which we'll be gaining and that also because many facts are uh, there we cannot uh, memorize everything so we have to have an overall uh, perception of the marketing subject as a whole so i started uh, taking it seriously and uh, after I uh, resigned from my uh, this um, uh, job, I even though I appeared for IBPS PO and other uh, exams, I was somehow giving some time to that uh, marketing subject as well in my daily routine because I knew that it is not going to uh, means the time will be just over. I didn't have much time. I resigned in uh, my last working day was in August, so September, October, and November. I had only three to four months in my hand. And I realized that the book is very thick. I used, I would like to state here that I used 13th edition of uh, Kotler's Principle of Marketing of our uh, MBA's book. So it really helped me in that. Plus the various videos. Uh, and also so I would like to say, first of all, we have to be clear about the uh, concepts of the job as well. Yes. It's what we are going to do. We don't have to be uh, only dependent on the theory because now this year the paper was again different. It was very practical actually. Okay. Many things were very practical. Only the theory part will not again help. Mm -hmm. So this time, even though I read almost all the chapters, but then in the exam, I realized that thank God that I read various news and various videos I watched that helped me to build that kind of uh, uh, perception mm -hmm. uh, of various concepts, which helped me in answering. Because in the exam, I thought I, I, again I'm going to fail. I could uh, uh, attempt only say 34 to 35, and two to three were wrong. Yeah. I scored 30.75 in mains. Mm -hmm. So I thought again that I'm going to fail this time also. Mm -hmm. But uh, somehow it was my interview was good and I could clear it. So the main important is the book. You cannot skip the book, sir. Plus the various uh, uh, articles available online and various online sources are very uh, too available today that we can uh, prepare by sitting at home as well. Yes that is there uh, because you have actually nicely covered this portion so i think you have been very much aware about what is happening in the market so the interview has yes. been a, a very smooth experience for you how many panel yes, members sir. and how it went sir there were seven panel members altogether. first i would like to say that i was quite unlucky also in the interview because my number was around I means uh, uh, we reported there in the morning mm -hmm. but then our number came in the evening Mm -hmm. It was so crowded at that time that uh, I thought that our because the other panels were coming out, uh, the candidates were coming out within one or two minutes only. Mm -hmm. So I thought that now my chance is almost gone <laughs> because uh, the, if we are not being able to prove ourselves in the interview, then they'll give average marking. Mm -hmm. So I was very scared at that time, but somehow I collected myself and then I thought that even though I, if we have given a full, now we cannot do anything. That is not in our control that how many minutes they'll be talking to us. So I went in there very, very confident and uh, they started, they took my uh, introduction. I, I told them that I was in a media relations committee in my college. So they pick up from there and they asked something regarding media, mm. totally unrelated marketing. Mm. So I thought the question is this, I could not answer that. But later I realized that it is a, it is a very important question. He asked me regarding the four, uh, uh, four pillars of democracy mm. and they were um, judiciary, then executive, then uh, legislature, and there's uh, media. Four so media was one. Of the, yeah, yeah, media was one of the four uh, basics. Yes. So I, I did not answer that. I said, sir, I don't know that. Then he asked me again something very different topic. I was not aware of that also. So he told me, okay, you tell me what are the C, what is CRR and SLR. Mm -hmm. I told him correctly that he was satisfied. Then again, one panel they asked me uh, regarding uh, this. Uh, 
PSL, uh, Priority Sector, sector lending. lending. So I, I explained that I had watched your videos also, sir. It really helped me because finance is somehow, even though I was giving for marketing, they were somehow inclined towards banking questions only. Mm. They did not ask me majorly of marketing. They asked me overall banking, you can say. Yes. So, so I I had that, uh, and I have since I have worked also, so I have that uh, basic understanding of banking. Yes. So I could answer those questions. Plus, again, they asked me regarding my work experience and also the job role which a marketing officer will do. But all in all, it was a good experience. And since I was thinking that it would not take that much of time, at the end, I was quite satisfied that uh, somehow I could show my skills uh, with my communication and uh, whatever questions they asked me. So it was a good uh, interview, although. Yes. So if I am concluding from your interview, as you said, they didn't ask much about marketing, but it is more about banking. So I am able to yes, understand sir. because they are senior bankers. And the second yes, point sir. is knowing about our profile, our job experience, etc. Where they have picked up many questions. One question before we close: How I exam yes, can help you? Sir, I would like to take this opportunity to state a few uh, things about I exam B. There are many perceptions regarding I IBPS SO and PO comparison. Right. So many people they have got many negative reviews about IBPS SO. So I started surfing the internet, and that time I exam B was not very uh, known to people. I landed upon your video only. Then in your video you were explaining everybody that see uh, many people from the SO field also they are rising up to the CMD level. Yeah. So that was a really good boost for me, and from there I, I attached myself with I exam B, and I started surfing various the various videos available on your YouTube channel. So I realized that you provide. Uh, Uh, very crisp videos in your channel with uh, with less of advertisement it is up uh, to the point as i was working at that time last year i was working so for me time was very important i mean i started watching your youtube videos when i realized that your website is providing free mocks it's very surprising for me at that time that uh, some some channel is providing free mocks so i went there i registered myself and when i appeared for your mocks uh, let me tell you i have appeared for LIC HFL interview also. I was out in the final list. There were only a hundred seats there. So uh, in the LIC HFL and LIC M panel uh, list, uh, I, I'm in the M panel list also. So I would uh, give credit to I, I exam B also because the mocks which are available with uh, I exam B are very good. I would like to say the interface which I exam B provides uh, in the form of mocks is very very easy. and very uh, user friendly you can say and plus the explanations which you give after every question is also very helpful for students like me who are wanting to know where do i like for lic hfl solely i dependent on your mock test because you got uh, you provided free mocks and that time so i exam b has really helped uh, help me in a way to build my basics you can say whatever i'll say it will be less only for i exam b because it has helped me a lot sir Thank in you the beginning as well for everything as Right. So one last point, because in this journey you must have learned something, which you would yes. like to tell to others not to do. Yes. Mistake yes. we shall uh, one shall avoid because out of your experience you can tell what are the mistakes candidates yes. shall avoid, and also any concluding remarks if you want to say for the future aspirant. Sure, sir. Sir, in my IBPS attempt last year, uh, in the year in the month of October. when i when i started my preparation in september it was only one month so i was very nervous at that time so what did i do although i was uh, somehow uh, well in with the basics of uh, easy concepts not i not say i was good in all the concepts at that time because it was only one month i did not know many things but in the exam hall when i went there i could not do even the things which i knew mm. why because i took so much of load in my mind that i have to do i, I have to do it fast that i could not do many things and i could i scored very less so one advice is that to my fellow aspirants that we have and uh, but they are not impossible also uh, at the same point so we have to uh, first of all believe in ourselves and give time to ourselves plus take support from whoever uh, is available around for example uh, i would like to again uh, say one executive from i exam we contacted me i would like to take her name her name is miss pragya Mm. so she i i i uh, i did not i never bought any paid courses from i exam b but whenever i asked her some suggestions she always she always gave me 
because uh, i would say that if we are able to guide ourselves with the help of others who are already experienced it will certainly help us so we do, we should not be uh, in our own ego also yeah. because many a time we think that we know everything so that is a wrong i would not say that everybody thinks that way yeah. but some some time at the back uh, in my previous years i started thinking that way but that did not help so we have to take help of others as well plus we have to take uh, advices from our parents our friends and our mentors as well so this will be my advice to all my fellow aspirants and it is it is possible sir it is possible we can do it yes thank you for uh, acknowledging pragya thank you very much and wish you very best for your career you are joining thank you. punjab national bank a very very large bank actually the largest public sector bank second largest yes after sbi second largest. yeah after sbi best wishes you will rise in your career and uh, thanks for spending time with us guiding future aspirant it will be very much helpful for all of us thank you so much sir thank you thank you